resistance, holding back, holding back your feelings, doing your best to conceal a whole lot of feelings or emotions from someone you've had a breakup with. Ten of Cups in reverse with the moon here. You have a lot of emotions for someone that you are in separation with or something or where you ended a relationship, a long-term relationship, because this was a relationship where probably which once made you happy, but now you guys are no longer on the same page. But you're concealing your feelings for this person. You're choosing to keep your feelings hidden from this person, okay? But there's definitely a split right now. With the strength here, the five of swords in reverse here, I feel you wanted to work on a partnership, okay? You wanted to be with this person on the same page, but this was a one-sided situation. Someone refused to cooperate or compromise with you and you gave up on the situation. You, ad you It's like literally you admitted defeat and you're like, you know what, screw it, I'm done. And now with the strength here, it's taking a lot of courage into you to hold back from this person, but you're still going to do it, okay? You're going to tame your emotions, your passion, your feelings for this person, but you're not going to give in. Tell me what is going on in Pisces's mind. What does Pisces have on their mind in regards to this connection? See, the strength wanted to come out. The judgment in reverse, the strength and the eight of wands in reverse. Pisces, clearly there's a situation here where you don't want to give something a second chance, okay? There's a lack of a resurrection, lack of reconciliation. You don't want to repeat your mistakes over and over again. But again, this is also being very indecisive, okay? Maybe you want to be with this person. Maybe you even want to reconcile with this person, but fear is holding you back. And that's why you're not making a decision on moving forward with this person. Because right now, with the strength here, you feel the need to hold back. You feel the need to, um, how can I say? You're being very brave right now, okay? It's like you're feeling the fear and yet doing it. It's like you know that you want this person so bad, but you don't have a choice. You don't have a choice but to get this situation in control, okay? And with the Eight of Wands in reverse here, I feel you're blocking communication. A lot of resistance from your side, Pisces. Either you're slowing down communication or this is just very shitty communication. I'm getting more like, you know what? You just don't want to move forward with this person, okay? Something's come to a complete stagnancy or a complete halt here i feel you're holding back communication okay because with the five of cups king of wands you're giving up on a situation okay you're giving up on someone you know who just didn't take action towards you and there's a lot of regret here okay a lot of regret a lot of spying over, crying over spilt milk you're grieving a loss from the past here you're constantly in that mindset of like, oh, things could have worked out. This should have been handled differently. That should have handled differently, okay? But yeah, there's a lot of uh, investing of energies into something that didn't work out, okay? Something that's over and done with. But you're just not being able to get over that loss. You're not being able to move on from the past hurt or still holding on a grudge. I feel you, have, you wanted this person to take action towards you, okay? Or you dropped this person okay i think with the you were constantly juggling the idea of being with this person or not or you were constantly not sure about whether you wanted things to move ahead with this person you finally dropped this person or this person was someone who kept you in two options okay they were going back and forth but you were done you were done you just gave up on this connection here it's like you know what i can't do this anymore i can't have someone juggle me i can't have someone keep me in options tell me what is going on on this person's mind that pisces is dealing with seven of swords and the seven of pentacles in reverse here this person sees that something was a waste of time okay they feel that something was a waste of time or uh, something was just where their investments just didn't come into fruition But they're not addressing the situation is what I'm getting. They're trying to hide from it. They're trying to escape the situation, okay? Escape a situation that was a huge disappointment. Like they're not addressing the situation, okay? It's like, okay, well, that didn't work out. Fine. You know, it's like that. Give me one more card for the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse? 
Where's the seven of swords and the seven of pentacles in reverse? Ace of Cups in reverse. This is someone who's emotionally unavailable or emotionally shut off, okay? Because something didn't work out. This is someone who, you know, who feels unrequited love is on their mind, okay? They feel their feelings were, they feel their emotions were not reciprocated or it was a one-sided situation. Something just didn't work out. I feel this person is trying to hide, you know, they're, trying, they're being an escapist, okay? They don't want to address the situation is what I'm getting here, okay? They're very emotionally shut off, emotionally closed off. Of course, it's driving them nuts. They're being restless and mentally exhausted with the situation, thinking about it over and over again. Probably they're even thinking of communicating with you, okay? But for right now, they're trying to find the easy way out, okay? I'm, I'm getting again and again not addressing the situation, okay? Because they feel something was just... It's just uh, disappointing, okay? What does Pisces feel for this person? What does Pisces feel for this person? And the high priest is here so you feel uh, this person needs to make a decision okay or you feel that you're at a crossroads here okay over the high priest is here i feel you're giving this person the silent treatment you know exactly what's going on pisces you know exactly what's going on but you're just choosing to stay shut off being very closed off not saying anything and you're in two minds right now with the two of wands here i think pisces you're choosing a different path out here Maybe all this while you chose this person out here, okay? But this person turned out to be very sneaky and deceptive. Now, this doesn't have to be someone who is a cheater. Liar, not exactly, but lying in a way where someone who was constantly deceptive about how they felt about you. They never addressed their feelings or they kept their feelings hidden from you, their intentions hidden from you, okay? And now you're choosing a different path out here, Pisces. You could be in a long-distance relationship with this person, but yeah, you're choosing to stay shut off with a magician... The page of wands, the three of swords here. You definitely are manifesting this person, okay? You're trying to manifest this person, but when it comes to communication, right? I don't think you're wanting to talk to this person because you're very hurt with this person, whatever this person did to you. Three of swords, this is emotional distress, heartbreak, heartache, breakup, separation, divorce. Whatever happened, it led to a lot of emotional anxiety, okay? A lot of stress. You're hurt deep, okay? This person cut you bad. They hurt you very deep. And now you're losing the motivation to talk to this person. Although I feel with the magician here, you're trying to uh, manifest new opportunities, okay? Is what I'm getting here. I feel, you know, with the magician here, yeah, you could be manifesting this person here, but I feel somewhere, somehow, there is lack of communication here, okay? You're holding back communication because, again, the three of swords, you're still holding on to the past, okay? You're not being able to heal from the breakup. I feel you're choosing a different path here, Pisces. I don't feel you are pursuing this person. I mean, you're just looking somewhere else. You're not looking at this person. Whilst this person here is still trying to get away with whatever happened in the past, okay? They're looking at something that didn't work out with you, okay? Looking at a situation as something was a waste of time, but they're still emotionally shut off, okay? This person could be someone who doesn't want to be vulnerable, okay? But they're just being very sneaky about their ways. They're not being very honest about the situation. Honest with themselves, at least. What does this person feel for Pisces? See, that's why with ammonia, there's so much deception here, right? So many things that you don't know about. Something's being hidden from you is what you feel. Why is the... Um, what, what does this person feel for Pisces? See, that's what they're doing. This person's waiting around for you, Pisces. Three of Wands. This person's waiting. They're being very slow, very patient with the process. Okay? They're in no rush to come to you. They're in no rush to reconcile with you. Because see, they're obsessing about communication, but they won't move forward. They won't come towards you. They're constantly thinking about it, but see, Seven of Swords, they're trying to get away with it. They're trying to do something where they feel less guilty, okay? 
and they're purposely doing it. They're trying to run away from this situation here. Maybe they think you are someone who just um, wasted their time, okay? And they know it. They know it, that they were not available. They know that this was unrequited love. But again, they're not being honest in their approach, okay? It's like I'm getting from this person, I know something didn't work out because it was my fault here, but well, okay, I'm not gonna address it, okay? They're trying to sneak, they're trying to get away with it. The, that's an escapist here on this side, whoever this is, person, this person is. Could be you, Pisces, could be the person you're dealing with. Someone's being an escapist here. They're trying to dodge the bullet, dodge their way out. Like, how can I get rid of this situation and still get Pisces with me and still not address the situation? They just don't want to be vulnerable. They don't want to be put in a position where they're uncomfortable, okay? What they're doing in their feelings is the three of wands and page of pentacles in reverse. Like I said, this person wants to communicate with you. They're obsessing about it, but they won't do it. Okay. They're lacking communication. They're being very non-communicative because with a fool in reverse, the knight of swords, the five of cups, see, same shit, different day, right? This person wants to communicate with you. Okay. This person wants to talk to you. Like they could have wanted to talk to you yesterday. They want to confront you. They want communication, but it's this fool in reverse. There's this energy of where, you know, this person is um, unsure about taking that leap of faith with you. They have leaps of doubt here. I feel it's more like this person doesn't know if you're going to take them back or they just don't trust you or they don't trust the situation. Something seems to them like a risky business because in the past there's already been something which didn't work out between you guys. Okay. This person has a lot of regret. I'm getting that a sense of guilt out here. This person's feeling guilty. See, that's what Seven of Swords is, right? They're feeling guilty, but they won't address the situation. They're guilty that some, I mean, something didn't work out between you guys. And they know it was their fault. They want to address the situation. They want to talk to you now, but they won't risk it. You know, someone who's thinking 10 times before taking that risk to move towards you, okay? Again, I think they're waiting for you to communicate, but you're definitely looking the other way, unfortunately. All right, tell me what is the mutual energy between Pisces and the person they're dealing with? What do you both want? What do you both want mutually? What is the mutual energy between Pisces and the person they're dealing with? See? Wow, Ten of Pentacles, you both want commitment, you want both marriage, you want both stability, security. You both see this as a wish come true, okay? But the problem here is Ace of Swords, you're in reverse here. You're both doing what makes you happy. I think you're both focused on each on yourselves, okay? Nine of Cups is a very self-serving energy, very smug energy. You're doing what makes you happy. They're doing what makes them happy or what satisfies them, okay? You're both in your own corners here. And mutually, there's no communication. No one's addressing the truth. No one's, um, um, you know, the, the truth is being suppressed here, okay? And you're both determined on not to open up, okay? It could also be that you both treat each other as your happiness, okay? You both have each other as your wish fulfillment, but no one will talk about it, okay? Why? Because with the tower in reverse here, trying to avoid a disaster, okay? Someone's trying to, uh, just playing it safe is what I'm getting. Okay. So what action will Pisces take moving forward towards this person? What action will Pisces take moving forward towards this person? Pisces, you're doing you. Eight of Pentacles here, King of Swords here. You're very, very straightforward and very honest about what you want and what you need to do. What you need to do is you're wanting to focus on yourself. You're bettering yourself, taking care of yourself, working on your own career, your money, your goals, etc. Okay? You're just letting this relationship be where it is, whether it's a separation, whether it's a breakup, divorce, whatever. You're letting it be where it is because you guys just don't seem to get on the same page. But I feel somewhere, somehow you're making a very head over heart decision, Pisces. You're just not fulfilled enough in this relationship, okay? Somewhere I'm getting you're fed up, see? You're fed up of investing into a connection that just does not get committed. A relationship which you're shutting the door towards this person. You're shutting the door on their face, okay? You're you're fed up of investing into this person here because it's just a relationship which where you feel strung along. You feel this person is someone who's just slow to so very slow to move, okay? Slow to take action towards you. And you're just getting strung along. You just feel tired, fed up, you're exhausted now, okay? You don't want to do this because it's just too slow moving, okay? But I feel you're fed up. You're just like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. Because there's just no movement here. Things are stuck, stagnant, not moving forward. And you're just like, I'm done. 
because with the four of wands in reverse here, there's a lack of coming together, right? There's a lack of reunion here. See, page of swords, wonder come out. This person's watching you. What's the point? What's the point? Every reading I get a page of swords. What's the point of watching the person from a distance and not doing anything about it? What do you like to do? Watch them move on? But seriously, cross watchers. What is, uh, what action will this person take towards Pisces? What action will this person take towards Pisces moving forward? What action will this person take? <laughs> like seriously. pentacles in reverse three of swords and the page of swords i feel this person is no longer juggling okay they've made up their mind here okay they are hurting with the three of swords here right but i feel this person is trying to make a decision or they're just um dropping one thing if this person was juggling you and another person here they're choosing you if this person was juggling uh you with another situation they're choosing you okay is what i'm getting they're making their choice they're making they're being very decisive with the three of swords here, there's a lot of heartache heartbreak okay they're chosen to drop the pain is what i'm getting okay they want a reconciliation but with the page of swords here i feel this person's still going to watch you they're trying to find out more information about you keeping an eye trying to probably find out if you're dating someone if you're single or if you move on etc but they're just watching watching from a distance okay see the death the three of pentacles knight of cups here see i think pisces you still have a lot of love for this person okay but you're clearly dealing with a control freak someone who's stubborn and not ready to budge see they see things what it is okay they're no longer in their mind they, they're no longer juggling okay they, they're decisive about what they want okay there is this energy of a lot of pain. They're going through a lot of pain here, okay, which is stopping them from taking action, but they're still not going to stop watching you. I think this person here, you know, wants to work with you on this relationship, okay, but you're just dealing with someone who just won't budge, okay, who just won't budge. This is someone who wants the last word. They always want the upper hand out here. Tell me what is the best possible outcome between Pisces and the person they're dealing with this week? The fool... <laughs> Of course, right? The fool in reverse and the eight of swords here, which is why the chariot in reverse. There's a lack of forward movement here. Something's not moving forward because someone refuses to take control of the fucking situation. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to curse. But someone's just not taking control of the situation. Someone's being emotionally unavailable. Absolutely emotionally unavailable. I'm sorry about the noise in the background, guys. I mean, the kids are just... There is unfinished business, okay? There is unfinished business here. But somehow, somehow I feel this person feels rejection. Okay, they fear rejection. This person is probably at a distance from you. Again, distance could be an issue between you guys. But I'm getting this person who refuses to take that leap of faith with you, okay, and move forward. Why? Because this person's stuck in their head, okay? They're stuck in their own head. They're stuck in their fears, okay? It's like this person is looking at the situation as, um, you know, they're in the jailhouse of their own mind, okay? They're overthinking this. They're paralyzed by fear. They feel mentally trapped on a situation. They're stuck on you, but they don't even want to take a leap of faith and move towards you, okay? They need to get unstuck, okay? They need to free themselves from this self-imprisonment, okay? But they won't do that. And that's why there's still that lack of wanting to take that jump ahead, okay? Wanting to. That's why there's no forward moment here. Plus, another reason I see here is this person is still emotionally closed off, okay? This person has trust issues. They're not... Um, they're not, um, what do I say? The King of Cups to me is also someone, you know, who is, uh, too sensitive. I feel this person is too sensitive or someone who's just being very, um, cold. Okay. They're just being very cold towards you. Okay. Very cold, very uncompassionate also. Okay. Why I said sensitive is because this person, you know, they feel a lot. Okay, but they put up a veil, they put up a false mask where they, where they act cold, but actually they're not. They do feel a lot, but this person is scared to be vulnerable. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope this reading resonates with you. If it does, do leave your comments below and I will see you next time. Bye.